I'm finally back. I've been promising you guys I was gonna do a hair tutorial, but it's like taking me forever because I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff and I haven't had time and I also been lazy. I'm not even gonna lie. So um yeah, I finally decided today I'm free on board. So let me just do my hair tutorial for you guys. I know I look crazy, look at my hair, I'm just a little bun, but in a minute I will look way better. So basically what I'm gonna do today is show you ladies and gentlemen if you guys are interested um how to do your hair using the curly girl method and I'm also gonna show you how to wash and style your hair using um diva curl products and my OGX favorite fucking mousse on earth um using this as well there is a method to doing your hair i know like when growing up like we had since i had curly hair my sisters all we would do is apply a whole ton of gel in these areas put conditioner here and just leave that shit but that is completely completely the wrong way to do your hair so what i just want to show you guys is how to properly do your hair not saying that you're necessarily going to do it like that all the time but at least once or twice a week the main days when you really really wash your hair should be the days that you follow this method i think that you'll see a better curl um result i think your hair will last you longer if you properly do it um the way i'm about to show you and i think you will thank me later so um oh no my god guys i know i look so fucking sweaty it's because it's like a bazillion degrees in my room right now because it is like a heat wave here in new york city so yeah if i look a little sweaty i'm about to be cooled off in a minute only because i will be hopping in the shower and you guys will be joining me in the shower so so i can show you how to properly wash your hair so um yeah if you're ready um first what i'm gonna do is go over each of the products that i have here and explain to you guys what each product does and how we're gonna use it in today's video and then um yeah you guys let me know if you guys are interested in the product or whatnot and we'll go from there so today the first product that i'm going to be using on this dusty hair you see this it's so horrible so today what i'm going to be using first is the diva curl build up buster so what this basically does is right now i have let's say some product in my hair let's say i have a leave-in i have a little bit of conditioner left over from when i had washed it last night or whatnot what the build up buster does is it breaks down all that excess um gook and stuff that you have on your hair so like that when you wash your hair it's already clarified your scalp so you don't have all that nastiness sitting on your hair and just adding more product to your hair this is going to um take out all the buildup in your hair and help get um help get a better wash essentially when you wash your hair so basically what i have to do is i'm gonna wet my hair right now like in this state right now i'll go and wet it and then i'm gonna apply this product on it so what i'm gonna do after i apply this product is i'll rinse this off and then I will start with my washing process. So basically what I use is the Diva Curl No Poo One Decadence. I use One Decadence only because my hair is on the drier side and my curls need moisture. So One Decadence provides moisture for the hair. So if you're looking for um, extra moisture, I think One Decadence is better than getting the original Diva Curl. But basically with the No Poo Decadence, it basically um it has zero lather and ultra moisture moisturizing milk cleanser so this is just to cleanse your scalp and i'm gonna show you how to use this product on your hair you're not gonna douse your entire hair with this product this product is solely going to be used on your scalp which is why i told you in the beginning we use the build up buster to take out all that gook and stuff from the rest of your hair because the no poo is going to be used on your scalp only and i'll show you guys like how to properly use it and then we're gonna follow up with the one decadence conditioner this product is amazing as well i'm gonna show you how you properly apply conditioner to your hair girls we have been using conditioner and applying it the wrong wrong way conditioner never 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 touches your scalp only because it causes a major buildup and that clogs your pores in your scalp and that causes your hair to grow um slower it um causes scalp or um um what are those little flakes dandruff 
So, um, I'm going to show you girls how to apply, uh, how to properly, can't even freaking talk, how to properly apply, um, the conditioner to your hair. And then after we do conditioner, you could follow up with whatever leave-in you prefer. I don't have a leave-in here. I don't know why. I probably might use the Carol's Daughter, the milk one, only because this is like milk conditioner or whatnot. So I'll probably use that condition, um, that leave-in conditioner, and I'll show you guys it in a minute. I have to go get it in my little stash. And then after I apply the leave-in, which I'll show you how to properly apply the leave-in, um, I will follow up with a coconut with the coconut curl styler. I love this product too. Um, this helps define your curls and just helps your curls look richer and prettier. And then lastly, how I finish it off is with my OGX. This is like my holy girl mousse for curly hair. Coconut curls. This stuff is amazeballs. It doesn't leave your hair like all crunchy or anything like that. Like it's like the perfect product for curly curls. Right? Does that make sense? For curly hair? Whatever. Whatever. You guys get what I'm trying to say. So, um... What I'm going to do is actually have you guys, like I mentioned before, follow me into the shower so I could properly show you guys how to wash your hair when you are leaving your hair curly. And then after that, after we do this whole little shebang here, what I'm going to do is um, show you guys how to diffuse your hair. And then we'll see like the finished product of how my hair comes out. And then you guys be the judge and see if you want to follow this procedure and this method or not. I don't know. It works for me. It works for several women who follow this method. So I hope you guys enjoy my video. Thanks. All right, guys. So here I am in my shower. I um only right now I just wet my hair or whatever because it was looking a little crusty when I took it out of that little thing I had going on or whatever. So what I'm gonna start off with, like I had mentioned before, was the Diva Curl Build Up Buster. So it basically says you're just gonna work on wet your hair, which I already did. And you're gonna work the product through the mid section of your hair down to your ends. So what I do when I normally use stuff like this, since I'm gonna be sectioning it off, I use um, clips like this or whatnot, just to like be able to make sure my hair is being sectioned off properly. So what I'm gonna do first is just lift. Hold on, I'm gonna look at my little mirror that's over here. I'm going to lift the section, like the top portion up to give myself, so like this much hair. Then they said the mid, so basically take this much, ah, take that much product. I'm going to put it on my hands, so the mid section to my ends. This is how I'm going to do it, mid section to my ends. And I'm going to do that throughout my whole hair. So basically, um, I'm just working it through. I've already done more, a little bit more than half of my hair since my hair is short. So I'm just working the product through. I'm raking it through with my fingers. Just breaking it through. This product doesn't have like a strong, crazy smell. It smells like floral-ish, citrusy kind of, I guess. So I'm just going to keep working it through. So and now I'm down to my last piece of hair. So I'm just gonna work it through this piece of hair. That's it. So now that my whole hair has the build up buster, I like to leave it for like a minute or two and just comb my fingers through it just to make sure that I'm getting all that excess build up of product out of my hair before we get our wash going after a minute you're just gonna wash it out sorry you can't see me you're just gonna wash it out and then you're just gonna crunch up your hair right I squeeze it I don't really like to squeeze my hair anymore I like to like crunch it up just to keep like my hair texture going so you want to take out all this excess water because now what we're going to do is um, use the no pool to clarify our scalps. Or basically what we would consider washing our hair. So for no washing, um, for no washing the hair, 
for washing our hair with our no poo decadence um you're literally only going to use this on your scalp and what i mean is look at all this hair on my hands crazy so you're gonna pour like this much for me at least um no poo shampoo on your hands you're gonna work it through then you're just going to massage your scalp so basically you're gonna say go section 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 here and in the back right and then you're just gonna massage your scalp literally we're just massaging the scalp and you're not gonna see any lathering but that is because it is a no who wash so we're just literally and you're massaging this like you're not like scraping you know like when you go to the dominican salon and they like rip out your scalp no you're literally just massaging your scalp which is pretty cool because it feels good but i want a little bit more i always like to be on the safer side so i just like that and then i'm just gonna go back in make sure my entire scalp and the middle so don't forget the middle of your scalp and you're just gonna massage so i like to do this for about a minute or two you don't necessarily have to but i do because i like to make sure my scalp is very very clean so next up is our diva curl one decadence conditioner now this is the i think maybe one of the most important steps so when you're washing your hair and what something that we've been doing wrong for years us women with curly hair so i'm gonna show you how to properly um use conditioner when washing your hair for curly hair and one thing i forgot to tell you guys when you're washing like um well washing out the no poo make sure you're using lukewarm water do not use like piping hot water like don't do that Please, that's no good for curly hair. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is what like, I had to before is section off your hair. So we're gonna take a section like this. Oh my God, do you guys hear the thunder? It's about to start like pouring on here. I'm gonna clip this, right? Then what I'm gonna do is literally take a section like this, right? And what I do sometimes to make it easier for me, since I have this ledge right here, I just put conditioner on it so I don't have to keep, like, doing all of that. So, ah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm literally doing this how, like, I would do it if I was washing my hair, like, on my own without you guys watching me wash my hair. But whatever. So, you're going to take a section like this. And what I used to normally do when I used to condition my hair is just take conditioner, throw it on the top, put it at the bottom, and no. That is not how you do it. So you take sections. This is going to take a little while, and it's a little tedious, but let me tell you, it's worth it. So what you're going to do is take, like, a dime size. Oh, I took, like, a freaking quarter size. But really what you want is, like, a dime size of conditioner. I have this much... And you're going to start from the bottom of your curls and rake it up. But not all the way to your scalp. You're literally just going to rake it up. Don't touch your scalp because remember, we don't want like the conditioner buildup on our scalp. We want the scalp to breathe so we can have growth. That is the point of all of this. So you're going to rake it through, right? Then you're going to take some water in your hands and you're just going to crunch up the curl and once i get more curl i mean more curl more hair with this i'm gonna show you the sound that you should be hearing when you know like the conditioner is setting well because you don't just want to apply the conditioner and leave it there because it's not going to penetrate your hair when you put the conditioner rake it through and then add water the water is going to loosen up the conditioner and actually let it penetrate your hair so it's actually doing what it's supposed to do First thing you're gonna wanna do is what like, I had the before is section off your hair. So we're gonna take, take a section like this. Oh my god, do you guys hear the thunder? It's about to start like pouring on here. I'm gonna clip this, right? Then what I'm gonna do is literally take 
a section like this, right? And what I do sometimes to make it easier for me, since I have this ledge right here, I just put conditioner on it so I don't have to keep like doing all of that. So, ah. I'm sorry guys, I'm literally doing this how like I would do it if I was washing my hair like on my own without you guys watching me wash my hair. But whatever. So you're gonna take a section like this. And what I used to normally do when I used to condition my hair is just take conditioner, throw it on the top, put it at the bottom, and no. That is not how you do it. So you take sections. This is going to take a little while, and it's a little tedious, but let me tell you, it's worth it. So what you're going to do is take, like, a dime size. Oh, I took, like, a freaking quarter size. But really what you want is, like, a dime size of conditioner. I have this much. And you're going to start from the bottom of your curls and rake it up. But not all the way to your scalp. You're literally just going to rake it up. Don't touch your scalp because remember, we don't want like the conditioner buildup on our scalp. We want the scalp to breathe so we can have growth. That is the point of all of this. So you're going to rake it through, right? Then you're going to take some water in your hands. And you're just going to crunch up the curl and once i get more curl i mean more curl more hair with this i'm gonna show you the sound that you should be hearing when you know like the conditioner is setting well because you don't just want to apply the conditioner and leave it there because it's not going to penetrate your hair when you put the conditioner rake it through and then add water the water is going to loosen up the conditioner and actually let it penetrate your hair so it's actually doing what it's supposed to do breaking through all the sections here and like i said guys remember i am not using a lot of conditioner while i'm doing this i'm like putting that much on my hand and just going like this all right so let's see now i should have enough hair so you guys can hear the sound that i mean that you should be hearing when so it should sound like that that squishy sound that's how you know you have like enough water conditioner in the hair and then you're just gonna crunch up your curls like that and remember there you want to start seeing like some type of curl definition you see and i haven't even used my my fake demon brush or my wide tooth comb yet and look at the curl definition i'm already getting I know this is probably going to be mad annoying for some of you guys and you probably won't even do it because it's so tedious. But let me tell you, it's so worth it. And so I can tell you about the Diva Curl stuff, how much I spent on it. So the um, four Diva Curl products that I'm featuring today, um, or I should say using, they came in a packet. It was all four in a pack and it was 42 bucks. I bought it at Ulta and then if you're an Ulta member... They give you, <coughs> excuse me, coupons, so you guys can use like that three fifty coupon on it and save three fifty. Or if you're like me, I'm a platinum member, so I always have points. And um, yeah, you could get a discount there, or you can go to their actual website. You can also buy Diva products um in Target and I believe um Bath and Body um even the beauty supply store sell it but with them i don't know some people are a little sketchy with them i'm not i'm like whatever it is what it is but some people think they sell bootleg -like stuff at times when it comes to those products so just you know be mindful of that but yeah it's so worth it and i just hope you guys see like i'm just raking it through i'm not touching my scalp with anything i'm not like I'm literally just raking my fingers through and scrunch, scrunch, rake through, scrunch, rake through. I, got, I just want you guys to see like exactly what I mean. So this is my hair, right? With nothing in it. Like, look, it's like, mm. so once I take the one decadence, right? Taking this much. Am I, oh, look at that hair, right? And look when I rake it through, look how fast my fingers go through my hair look and this was just one time look crazy right i love this product 
And if you want to get like a diva cut, it's so worth it. I went to the salon in Soho. I use Toya. It's so funny. My name is Toya. I use a Latoya to do my hair. Look. And this is without me putting any style or any anything. Any leave-in. This is just a little bit of conditioner and water. And look at my hair so far. So now that my entire head has conditioner in it, I'm going to let it sit for like I want to say two minutes. And then what I'm going to do is, this is like the most important key thing to conditioning your curly hair. You want to lock in all of the moisture from your conditioner. And the only way you're going to do that is by rinsing off your conditioner with cold water. If you condition, uh, if you condition your hair and rinse it off with warm water, it's not going to lock in all the good stuff you want from the conditioner. So I'm about to turn over my water to the cold side and I'm going to rinse off um, this product. And I like to leave just a tad bit in it, like almost like a leave-in, if you want to say. Um, but not a lot. Don't leave the conditioner in your hair. Rinse it out, of course. But like I said, cold water. And um, if you want to leave just a little bit, you can. It's up to you. My water is cold. So what I'm going to do... Oh my God, it's fucking freezing, actually. I'm just gonna put my hair under just like this and I'm just gonna scrunch my hair to take out the conditioner and just scrunch it. Oh, it's so fucking cold guys. And this is gonna lock in. And you'll feel the difference in your curl when you're rinsing it off with the cold water. Oh my god guys, this is fucking freezing. Oh hell no. Nah, this is so cold. Sorry guys. So now my hair is completely washed, conditioned. Now it's time for styling. I personally don't like to like, sorry guys, I'm like getting my towel. I personally don't like to like dry my hair with a towel, a regular towel anymore. If you're doing curly hair, it is going to be a microfiber towel. You can get these turbans, they sell them everywhere. A microfiber towel or a, a plain white tee. Oh my God, I look like a stripper. Uh, Cause I have hair on my mouth, but a plain white t-shirt. Do not use a towel to dry your hair. Do not. So what I do, cause I like to leave my hair wet, because I'm gonna go put in the um, the curl activator, the mousse, and the leave-in. I literally take my microfiber towel and I scrunch like this, so my hair is not dripping all over the place. But I'm not gonna sit here and dry my hair either. And, like I said, what I like to do, I left a little, little, little bit of conditioner still in my hair. Um, So, you see how I'm keeping my curls still, like, intact, but I'm drying them off. So, um, I'm going to dry myself up and go to my room so I can show you guys how to style your hair the right way when you're following the curly girl method. All right, guys, so now it is time for me to start applying products on my hair. So this is basically what my hair looks like when I come out the shower. Um, Yeah, it's like, you know, there's curls, but they're not like the best looking curls. So first, what I'm going to start off with um, is going to be a leave-in conditioner so i didn't show it to you guys the last time i have the sampler like travelers uh, travel size but this is carol's daughter hair milk um the original leave-in moisturizer it's for curls coils kinks and waves it deeply moisturizes improves and softens um curls and prevents frizz it has agave shea and soybean so this is the leave-in that i'm gonna be using so basically the way i'm gonna apply my leave-in is the same way you saw me applying my um my conditioner when i was in the shower i'm gonna take a little bit on my hand go like this and just literally rake it through um my hair so um i'll show you guys how to do that but first what i'm gonna do is section off my hair so it's a little bit easier all right so now i have my hair sectioned i have section one section two in the middle clip and then section three up here so basically um what i'm gonna do is take the leave-in Put some in my hand and this one is a little runny it's not on the thicker side so this is all i'm gonna use gonna rub it on my hands and then i'm gonna work it from my um ends all the way up midsection remember i don't want to get it onto directly onto my scalp because we don't want to cause buildup. we literally just washed our hair 
So we're gonna rake this through. And you know, I rub it on my hands, so like that when I'm raking it through, I make sure that all the hair is getting even amount of product. So I'm gonna do that, right? Then I'm gonna come through with my Coconut Curl Styler from Diva Curl. Um, this is my favorite curl styler along with the We Dad curl styler. I will show you that one day in a next um, hair video. But that one and this one are like my favorite go-to. Cancel, I'm not a fan of Cancel. I'm not a fan of Cream of Nature like that. These are my go-to, the Diva Curl or the We Dad. These are on the uh, more pricier side of um, when it comes to products. But... It, they do the job the right way so uh, i put too much so i'm gonna to put a little bit down i just want like this much actually so what i'm gonna do and it goes a lot like a little bit i mean goes a long way i'm just also gonna rake this through my hair as well right so rake it through rake it through and this is basically just to give your hair some more definition your curls and to moisturize them or whatnot you don't need to do this part or you could either leave out the leave-in or the styler whatever if you don't want too much product in your hair and build up i like to do this method but it's up to you so at this point this is when you will use your brush i have a fake denman brush i'm always talking about my fake denman brush but let me tell you it works like the denman brush so i don't care if it's a fake version or not so what you're gonna do is take a section of your hair right and you're gonna comb through you're gonna comb through and watch your hair coil right and then you're just gonna go like this to your curls and look look at that curl bounce so I'm gonna do that to all the hair. So you're just gonna comb through. Oops, comb through. Let it go. Shake them out. And look at and So basically you're gonna do this throughout your entire hair. What I just started doing right now is to make it easier. I put the curl activator, mix them with the leave-in, mix them together, and just rake it through this bad boy. Kills time, especially in the morning. If we're, like, doing this on a Monday morning and you got to get to work, this is a very tedious process. This is why I said it's not for everybody. I recommend it, but it is not for everybody because it does take time. So, I'm going to follow up with my brush gonna comb through oops gonna comb through shake out the curls see I'm gonna do that to my entire head and when you're combing out your curls do it from the bottom up. so yeah when you're um untangling your hair like i was saying you should untangle from the bottom up from the bottom up and when you're doing this you're also working the product up so that's why i always say you do not have to put it on your scalp and just shake them out and look at that coil bam bam look how much longer my hair is too it's pretty cool so basically where my hair still struggles is in the front but this is because this is where i had the most damage from over the years of dying flat iron curling iron and stuff so this section i love to like really really work in my product and make sure that the brush is getting the curl all the way together and then i'm just going to go like that and let me tell you that a couple weeks ago even a month or so ago my hair would not do this on this end and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna follow through with the scrunching up of my hair. So I'm comb this out a little bit more. I'm not feeling the way it feels. And I kind of more or less like when my hair gets coiled more so than um, when it's like a loose curl or anything. I like my coiled curls. I know some people like I'm a little looser. When they're too coiled, I'll like pull them out a little bit because I don't want it to look like shrink super shrinkage but this brush definitely will give you shrinkage see like this side 
gives me a hard time. So I gotta always like fuck with this sign. It's gonna give me a little bit. But next up, we're gonna be doing um the diffuser. So let me go get my stuff so I can show you guys how to properly diffuse your hair. Oh my god. So I completely, com look, completely, look, I can't even fucking talk. I completely forgot to do my last step, which was to use my mousse. So basically, how I use the mousse, of course, like normal mousse, you shake it. This much mousse. This mousse is bomb down, motherfucking calm. And then I'm just going like this to my hair. I'm not like dousing it in mousse all day. I want it to like hold, but I also don't want to lose the product, the good product I have in my hair to the mousse, you know? So, and look at, it goes a long way. So you apply the mousse. So now I'm going to go set up my diffuser and stuff so we can get, so I can show you guys how to like diffuse your hair, which diffuser you should buy, etc, etc. I'm not feeling the way this is looking right here. Let me fix that, guys. I'll be right back. All right. So first things first, this is my blow dryer. It is a babyless uh, pro my fave fave blow dryer i'm not gonna ever buy any other type of blow dryer i love this one um and my diffuser i know this looks like a fucking weird ass contraption but it is a diffuser you attach it it's pretty universal this diffuser it did not come with this blow dryer what's the name of this company i um extava these are the people that i or the company that i use for my diffuser um i love my diffuser it was only like 17 dollars so yeah so basically you attach it to your blow dryer oops you attach it to your blow dryer then you are going to basically just depending on the length of your hair i have bald head right now so this is why i like do it like this but i start like to start from the back and i work my way to the front i do each side I am not going to film myself doing it because it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for my hair to dry. But I'm going to do it and then show you my finished product. But basically, this is what I would do. So for like this, this section, I'd go in with the blow dryer, hold it like this, the back. And like I said, depending on how long your hair is. And what you want to do is you don't want to apply hot air. You have a button on your blow dryer, unless you have a bootleg one. Mine is here, and this brings it. So I put it on high and hot, but then I hit cool, so it's blowing out cool air because the point of curly hair is to avoid heat damage as much as you can. So I'm going to go diffuse my hair, then I'm going to show you guys my finished product. And after it's like dried and styled, and then, yeah, you guys let me know how you feel or how you like it. So this guys is my final product. I um I don't like to fully fully dry out my hair when I diffuse it only because I like to keep some of that moisture from it being wet in it. I like it to naturally air dry. But what you could do at this point is like mess with the hair, make it bigger if you want, pull out some of the curls. But yeah, basically this is it. This is how my hair, and of course, like I said, when it dries up, and, and right now I'm just doing this for you guys. I'll style it better once I um am done filming. But this is basically how my curls come out, and you see how the front needs like Jesus stone, but we working on that. We working on that. Um, but yeah, so this is basically it. Um. This um, style should last you about four days. Right now in New York City, it is fucking oppressively hot and humid and muggy and disgusting. So I'm the type, this is going to last me two days. And it only lasts, honestly, if you use silk pillows or if you wear a bonnet at night. So if you're not about that bonnet life, get you a silk pillowcase. If you're not about silk pillowcases, get you a bonnet. But either way, if you want to preserve the hair, you need a bonnet or a silk pillowcase. Um, so, and like I said, it should last you four 
days but with of course you have to retouch and refreshen up your curls with either a little mist a little mixture of water with leave-in and you spritz your hair either way that's how you can maintain your curly hair but like i said oh my god look, look at how i'm sweating this um this style should last you for about um three to four days depending on how funny you are with washing your hair i like to wash my hair more often than not only because it's hot now but um normally like in the spring fall winter it should last you about three days with you following up with spritzers and stuff like that so um yeah that's basically it thank you for watching if you have any questions or anything let me know the next time i do a hair tutorial it's probably gonna be with my sh favorite shea moisture products um so i will keep you posted when i am gonna film one of those videos i think i might do my next video might be a makeup tutorial like eyeshadow not the whole face probably just the eyeshadow um i'm deciding that now but yes yeah, stay tuned and i appreciate all the love and support that i get from everybody and yeah this is Tally like toya bye guys